warrior. Hit the little bell so you will be subscribed to our channel and be notified of new videos. Also, you can become a member now of Lynn's Warriors. Find that, become a member, and let's talk about what is happening. I've been holding back and holding back, but now I'm exploding. First of all, uh, forgive me. I see my hair is blowing like the 80s music videos that we used to watch. But uh, it's a little hot in this room, so I'm going to let that go. I have to talk about Taylor Swift. Cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. Now, let me explain what I mean. Every day I am inundated, as you are, with something about Taylor Swift. Some cutesy little... Um, Dancing in the in the box with the boyfriend playing football. Here she is at a nightclub. Here she is going to a restaurant. Here she is there. Here she is. That's all well, good, and fine. I usually don't even talk about things like this. However, I woke up today and said to myself, wow, she can talk about endorsing presidential candidates and this, now this is gonna be tough to believe, but this is not even about politics because frankly, everybody should do what they want, be able to say what they want, as long as you don't harm each other and children. If she took her platform as a 34 year old with hundreds of millions, all of her different plat platforms combined, and we know certainly there are accounts that are you know, bots and things like that, that her camp puts out there. Remember, I come from an entertainment media background. I know how the game works. Can you imagine if she took her platform and instead of endorsing presidential candidates, which you know you can never win, some will love it, some will hate it. Why is she doing that? Why is she doing that? But you know what? If she endorsed keeping girls and women and kids safe, if she talked about sexual exploitation or digital safety or what's going on in the schools and used those hundreds of millions? Can you imagine? She would be the toast of the town. She would be cheered on from here to who knows where. So I can't help but thinking. I know the Emmy Awards were last night. I used to love that stuff, you know, working in the business. I can't, no with our country overwhelmed, our country exploding, lots of issues regarding children and families, lack of monies, lack of everything. No, I don't wanna see people in bad dresses and bad suits, uh, buying awards, frankly. Can you imagine though? And I don't like people, I make political statements, you know, these entertainment types, go, go act, go dance, go do whatever you do, that's fine. However, when you are somebody like a Taylor Swift, they are few and far between, and she's a young woman. I really think she has a duty to step up to other young women and the girls that look up to her and go to her concerts. And we know families that flew across the country to other places because it was cheaper to stay in hotels and fly places than get tickets for here in New York City. Can you imagine what, what, what a heroine, what a, what a, she would be. Why wouldn't she do this? We live in a digital world, it's not changing. We don't want it to go away, but we want everybody to be aware. We want everybody to be safe. But instead we've got, you know, Taylor Swift holding cats and, and endorsing candidates and not good, not, not good, not good, Taylor. I'm here to say that. I want everybody, here is your take action this week, very important. September uh, 17th, we have going to the House, the Kids Online Safety Act, KOSA. Passed the Senate in July, 91 to 3, bipartisan. I don't know who those three are, those wacky three, but 91 is pretty good. It's over now sitting with the uh, House. Now it will be voted on. I need you right now. Go to house.gov, find out who represents you. Send them. I want KOSA, Kids Online Safety Act, passed. We need it. Not invading anybody's privacy. First piece of legislation in 26 years. Simply saying, big tech, platforms, you have a duty of care. You have people and children on your platform. If you see bad material, bad postings, bad language, nude images, you take it down and don't leave it up to the kids and the parents and the grandparents and everybody who's overwhelmed. 
And I think, with all the money they're making, they can certainly do something. Hire more people to be on the lookout for this bad material. Warrior, I want to thank you for volunteering, for donating, for stepping up. Keep in mind, our hashtag is Community Creates Change. But I want you to think about this Taylor Swift having this platform and not utilizing it to keep her fellow girls, little girls, teenage girls. She's 34, a young woman. But I got to look at her. I think this is what did me in everybody. Looking at her with those fake and phony dancing in the box, you know, uh, those expressions, though this, the that, sipping on the drink, um, and, and screaming out, you know, Travis and all that fake and phony. My goodness, her time, I predict, her time's coming up. What goes up must come down. Keep that in mind, Taylor. Cat got your tongue. Lynnswarriors.org. Remember, you have the power. Remember, you have a platform. Remember, if we do one thing a day to affect change, if you talk to your kids, if you talk to each other, facts, not fears. If you share our resources that you find on lynnswarriors.org, other good vetted resources, stay positive. And remember, each and every day, go out and be a warrior.